Good day, and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Help us, Lord, when grace seems far away, when the peace that we seek is caught in the conflict of the chaos of this world. And Lord, we ask for peace in our lives and the lives of those around us, and especially for our families. Lord, we pray for peace in our society, in homes. We think of couples that are struggling, struggling to believe, struggling, struggling to be together. Lord, we pray for the strength of their faith. We pray for the way that they engage each other's faith, that they may be loving and kind and, under, kind and understanding and full of the, the grace and forgiveness and not bringing about a judgment. Lord, we pray that, that those who seek to help others with peace, especially in law enforcement, in our court systems, in our justice systems, Lord, that these systems will not be about upholding themselves and making sure that their jobs and their positions and their institutions are secure. But they will do what they are intended to do, even if it means, if it means a change or an end to the way things are being done. Lord, we hope for honesty in those who are appointed into offices of authority over us. Honesty that they expect of us, that we expect of each other. Lord, we pray especially for elected officials that are in public office, that are in, in political posts. Lord, that are very easily tempted to do the wrong thing, to do things which gratify themselves, that look after their friends. And Lord, we do not need that sort of corruption. And we know that Christ came and died so that corruption might be a, a, def, a defeated principle, something that is left in human past, yet there it is still today. So we know we have a, a long ways to go and the battle against sin is not over. And Lord, even though the victory is won, Lord, help us in this daily struggle with our own faith in enduring the, the struggles of faith with others. Lord, let us be in fellowship. Let us hold each other up even as we stumble. And Lord, we ask this day in our stumblings that we stumble together as family and friends and from time to time find rest and peace and happiness and moments and memories that bring joy, that help remind us that faith is not all about suffering. But Lord, we pray that we will find like-minded individuals in this. And even when those are, there are some that are adversarial to us or mocking even, Lord, that our goal together might be peace and truth and that we can bring each other to that point and there discover you. Lord, we pray for the life of your church in the way it so often struggles. And it's caught up in preserving its, its resources and its buildings and, and, and its forms and the way it has done things. And, and so many times it loses sight of what it is meant to do here and now. Not that all that has been needs to be thrown away, but it needs to find purpose. It needs like we do to hear a calling and to do that which glorifies and honors you. Lord, may we do that now as we turn to your word as we seek for the means to offer healing and hope unto others. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And today we turn to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1 at verse 1 and read into 2. For in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the message could be ours in equal sense today. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Christ is coming. Christ is coming again. And we have that same message of, uh, of John to give, but we have it with a greater fervency in that the time is, is already appointed. And, and, and acting like it's not going to happen now and it could happen later. And this isn't to be all fearful of the things that might fall from the sky or, 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 or the uh, instruments of war that we have and the devices of war. This isn't to bring about a fear in, in human design or human negligence. This is about being ready and rejoicing in being ready as God's people, living life that celebrates the very moment that, that Christ returns and isn't waiting, worrying that we're, we're going to be caught with doing something we shouldn't be, but living a life that doesn't worry about that, encouraging one another in the ways that, that bring about peace in each other's lives, that help each other in our faith. And especially as we, 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 we come to the, the summertime with all its recreation, that we don't lose track of what, what it means to, to have fun and fellowship and, and, and be meaningful in God's creation and appreciating what's there and, and not abusing it and not destroying it and not, and not taking it for granted and not taking each other for granted, but to, to recognize 
as we look to that day when Christ returns, as we are, are straight, straight in our message as John was, make straight the paths, make straight the ways in our hearts for the coming of the Lord, for the kingdom of God is coming and is already here, as Christ said. And in that kingdom, we are called to be God's people, not some visitors, not some sojourners, and not just simply servants, but those that Christ calls brothers and sisters. And as brothers and sisters, I invite you to, to, to be blessed and to share that blessing. In Christ, amen.